Can't wait to find out how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you how it ends. I know. We I win. Know. We win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to find Post Mill at the end of this. <laughs>
by a world you can't see. And that, by the way, is consistent with my life experience. Like, I've seen that, I've lived that, I'm 54. And so I feel like it's really important to approach politics with that in mind. Like, a lot of these issues are symbols of this much larger battle. And, and the well, not just, not simply symbols of the larger battle, but the results of or the downstream consequences of the much larger battle. That's the pattern you see in the book of Revelation. The worship of God is conducted in the heavenly places and chaos erupts on earth. Uh, uh, the, the saints of God worship God in heaven and God's judgments are poured out on earth. So it's not just symbols of, it's not like our actions are symbolic of uh, this larger picture, but there's a connectedness between the two. Final thing I will say is I do think we should approach these questions with humility. Amen. You know, we don't always know. I was at dinner last night at 801, which I strongly recommend. Surprisingly good lobster, kind of weird for Iowa. I'm like, is this from the coast of Iowa? No, but it was good. But anyway, we were talking about candidates and I was eating with someone who's a Christian and I, and I said, I can't, honestly, I can't tell if this person is a tool of light or darkness. You know what I mean? Um, so we don't always know, actually, at all. And we should always admit that. You know, I've got very strong feelings about all kinds of issues, but it's so important to be open to the possibility that I'm completely wrong. Mm. And that what I'm espousing is actually destructive, not constructive. Mm. Um, so just to, to approach it with, with humility. Like we're all about 100 times more ignorant than we admit. Yes, amen. Paul would say, I'm the worst of the worst, right? Yeah, so I would that's a good place to start. It, it is. I would suggest keep reading the Bible, and I want to finish here. <laughs> I can't wait to find <laughs> Good exhortation. Don't get stuck in Deuteronomy. Can't wait to find out how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how it ends. I know. We I win. Know. We win. Uh, really. <laughs> I didn't expect to find post mill at the end of this. <laughs> I would say uh, a wonderful case in point of what Tucker's talking about here is Tucker's own behavior over the last couple of years. Um, I, I think it's very clear that he got involved in something that was way bigger than he understood when he got involved in it. And he's just sort of now... Uh, catching on to the fact that oh oh this is big this is huge yes it is if you haven't heard by now i have a book called mere christendom you may have gathered it already but there's a lot of confusion out there on this topic do you want to read a book about it that is full of bracing common sense with a touch of citrus then this book is for you you should also get one for your confused cousin